Hey everyone, if you're a pickleball player, you know how important your paddle is to your game, obviously. But have you ever considered the grip on your paddle? The grip is one of the most important components of your paddle as it directly affects your control, comfort, and overall performance on the court. In this video, we're going to discuss the benefits of replacing your grip and show you how to do it yourself. The first and most obvious way to identify a worn out grip is to look for visible signs of wear and tear. Over time, the grip may become cracked, torn, or worn down, especially in high contact areas. Check the grip for any signs of damage, discoloration, or leftover residue that could indicate wear. Another way to identify a worn out grip is to assess the level of cushioning. If it feels less cushioned or uncomfortable when playing for extended periods of time, it might be time to replace it. Lastly, you can evaluate the level of grip provided by your paddle. A worn out grip can make it harder to maintain a firm grip on the paddle, causing it to slip out of your hand during play. This can not only affect your performance, but also pose a safety risk if you find yourself adjusting your grip frequently or struggling to hold onto the paddle when you swing it. If that's the case, then it may be time for a new grip. By using these tips, you can identify when it's time to replace your worn out grip and ensure that your paddle is always in top condition. This is actually my old Amped Invicta and uh, it's seen better days. Believe it or not, this grip used to be the same color as this edge tape right here. So how do you replace your grip? It's actually quite simple. Here are the steps. Before we get started, some items that are not necessary but could definitely help you in replacing your grip are scissors, electrical tape, and potentially a utility knife. So the first thing to do is remove the old grip. Here is where using a utility knife or scissors may help you. You want to peel off the tape that's holding the grip together that is near the throat, basically where the handle and the paddle start to meet. Once you peel this tape off, there should be some sort of flap that you're able to pull up and out, and then you can start to unravel and unwind the rest of the grip. Now the base grip typically has a little bit of adhesive that actually sticks to the actual handle of the paddle, but don't worry about this. If you need to use a little bit more force, it will come off. Be sure to remove any chunks of adhesive residue left behind as that may become an issue when applying the new grip. Step three is to prepare the new grip. Unwrap the new grip and remove any plastic wrapping and stickers from it. Roll it out on a flat surface to make sure it's not twisted or creased. Step four is to wrap the new grip starting around at the bottom of the handle. Now a common question that you may ask yourself is, which part of the grip or which end of the grip do I use to start the wrapping? Well, on most grips, you'll find that there will be one end that has somewhat of a taper that is thinned out gradually. This is the end that you want to use to start wrapping the bottom of your handle. Now, these little tapered ends typically have a small little adhesive section of it near the end. You want to unpeel the sticker off of it, and then you want to place the adhesive onto any bevels of the handle. Wrap the new grip around the handle in a spiral pattern. You want to make sure that the tapered part of the replacement grip is also flush with the bottom of the handle. Now start to wrap the new grip around the handle in a spiral pattern, making sure that the grip is taut around the handle. Now what I like to do is have the majority of the tape pointing close towards my body, and I like to have the handle rotate away from my body to actually make the grip spiral around the handle. Now keep on doing this while using firm pressure to ensure that the grip is secure and tight. Lastly, once you've wrapped the entire handle, use scissors or a utility knife to trim any excess grip from the top of the handle. I typically just like to make the cut that is parallel with the bottom butt cap of the handle. This just results in a very clean finish. Also, don't forget to take the remaining adhesive strip found in the packaging to secure the grip to the top of the handle. Here are some common concerns when replacing your grip. Some people may find it challenging to remove the old grip, especially if it's uh, been on there for a long time. It may take some effort and some patience to peel it off without damaging the handle, but just be patient, it will come off. The next concern is wrapping the new grip evenly around the handle, which can be challenging, especially for beginners. It's important to just overlap each layer slightly and keep the grip tight and secure. 
Just be patient, take your time, and don't be afraid to pull back the grip and redo previous sections if you need to. And that's it. Maintaining a good grip on your paddle is essential to ensuring optimal performance on the pickleball court. A worn out or slippery grip can negatively impact your ability to hold onto the paddle and control your shots, ultimately affecting your overall gameplay. That's why it's crucial to be proactive in maintaining your paddle's grip by regularly checking for signs of wear and tear and replacing the grip as needed. So remember, replacing the grip on your paddle is a simple and affordable process that can make a significant difference in your gameplay. Don't wait until your grip is completely worn out before taking action.